Right, so if you have a S197 V6, mainly 11 to 14 is what's focused on here. Um, if you're doing a coyote swap, you can reuse the original body harness from the V6s. They're the same. But you need to move the mass airflow wire. It's a blue wire. It's at pin 41 on the V6. You need to move it to pin 2 in this harness like the GT has. Otherwise, you will have no MAF reading or have an issue with trying to get it tuned or running, etc. So I'm going to show you how to depin this, move it. You're going to want to go on Amazon and just grab some pinning tools or depinning tools. It was like 10 bucks for a whole set of them. There's a thousand of them. They work great. Um, you're going to pop the face off of this connector. And then you're also going to want to pull this cover off the connector as well. So just to pop this off, you can use a pick tool, you can use a flathead screwdriver, whatever, doesn't matter. You're just going to want to go in there and just give the old pop. She comes right up, out, that's that. Set it aside so you don't lose it. And then as you can see, all the pins are exposed here. So you're going to pop them out from the back side. I think sometimes actually you can get these from the front if you're having an issue, but I just pop them out from the back normally. Um, so let me just take the back side of this connector off. You can see these two tabs there, one there, one there. I can't remember if they had them on the front. Yep, they do. Um, you're going to disconnect all those, all four of those tabs, so that way the, the head of this connector comes off. It's going to be kind of hard for me to show it, so I'm just going to put the phone down for a minute and do that. So with that removed, it just has a little tape around it. You can just slide it down the harness like so. Um, the back side of this connector is labeled. Hopefully you can see that. You see 17, 33, 50, yada, yada, yada. So again, you're going to want to find pin 41, which is a blue wire. You may have to peel back some of this tape here to get to it. And then what you're going to do is stick your little pick tool in there and push down on the wire. You make sure you get it deep in there, as she said. And then it'll slide right out. You can also grab it from the front, I suppose. If you you just go into one of these little top slots there and just stick the tool in, press down. It may be a pickup, but it's usually just a press down. Pull a little tension on the wire. Sometimes if you push the wire forward just a hair, push down on it with the pick tool and then pull out, that's the best way to do it usually. <clears throat> so again, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna confirm here. A little dusty. So pin two is gonna be this second one in up on the top here. So I'm just going to grab pin 40 because, again, handful of two hands. I need both hands, and we'll continue. All right, so you can see the sunken pin right there. Oh, sorry, focus phone. Come on. That's pin 40. You're going to depin it from the front or the head of the connector, just like I'm showing you here. Stick the pick tool in just above the pin. Just give it a little wiggle or put a little pressure on it, and then you can just pull out again. There is pin 40. It's just a solid blue wire. So now you will move up to pin 2 up on the top of the connector. Simply push it in, snap the face of the connector back on, clip this back on, and that's it. You're done. You have converted your V6 body harness to a GT body harness. And that's the end of that. Again, this is all 3.7, 11 to 14, 3 7 cars. Very straightforward. All right, so in most instances, you're going to have a blank in the back of this connector because there's nothing there. And so to avoid dirt, dust, blah, blah, blah in there, they put blanks in there. So you're going to have to pop these tabs off. There's two on the top, one on the bottom. And then you'll see the little black blanks in there. So you're going to want to go to the second one and pop that out. And then you'll be able to insert the blue wire into pin number two there. So... I'm trying to get you to see it, but every wire passes through this, so you're going to want to be gentle when you push this thing out. You're going to want to get it out just enough just to pull those blanks out, and that's it. Again, just spot number two, second one in.